I'm filming. Awesome, okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you guys. We are here. We are in my brand new apartment in the kitchen on the freaking island. That's right. I thought that I would come at you today with a baking vlog because we haven't done one of those in like since the only time I did one of those, like last year. Yeah! So we're gonna do it again, except we're kind of like leveling up a little bit because we're gonna make this entirely from scratch. And this, I mean, banana bread. Over the past couple days, we gathered some ingredients and now since we are in the quarantine period, there's no better thing to do than freaking bake. But we will show you how to make banana bread from scratch, except we're gonna make it in the cute little muffin tins. Keep watching and you'll see what I mean. Oh, I would also like to put out there that I'm going mostly off of a recipe from livewellbakeoften.com. So that's why I skipped to the bottom because that's where, I'm sorry, you probably wrote a lot of things that are like nice, but I just want the recipe. So the first thing you need to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Oh, it's just already right there. Wow. We love that. Did I wash my hands? Oh, look at that technique. Coronavirus season, people. It's the times we live in. Next step we need to do after preheating the oven is get these bad boys out. Now I have a crap ton of these because I don't really have a good reason. You need to fill <laughs> the cupcake slash muffin slash whatever you really want to call these um, with your little paper liners so that you don't get this all dirty and cruddy. Okay, now that we have all these in place, um, throw them aside because you're not going to need them for a little while. Oh, I meant literally throw them aside. Anyways, now we need to take a large mixing bowl. I am literally a long distance reader. You need to whisk flour, baking powder, <laughs> baking soda, cinnamon, and salt together in a big bowl. So we're going to do that. And now we whisk. I've had absolutely no culinary training whatsoever. Isn't this the biggest whisk handle you've ever seen in your entire life? Whisking! Look at that. Is this a tasty video or what? After you're done whisking this all together, put this big bowl aside and grab your other smaller little bowl. And um, now we're gonna do the hard part because homegirl doesn't have a mixer. So if you have a mixer, this will be a lot easier for you. So now you got your second bowl, and in this bowl, <laughs> you're gonna mix together all the rest of the ingredients. So you're gonna need four bananas. As you can tell, these ones are a little more ripe than uh, these ones because they're not from the same store, or maybe they were, but they're in different quantities. Um, anyways, so then you're gonna have to grab a fork and mash them together in the bowl because, like I said, no no mixer so or even yeah. a masher <laughs> yeah i know i just realized we could put it in the blender right is it possible to be too mashed i guess we're gonna put it this way now so we realized that we actually have a food processor so if you have a food processor and not like a mixer like a kitchen aid like the really cute kinds you can use this instead to mash up all your bananas so your hand doesn't hurt because like over explaining it. Got it. So we're going to take all of these um, bananas that I kind of ripped apart, put them in the food processor and complete that mission. You're going to take your mashed bananas and set those aside. And then we're going to add the other ingredients in the bowl and add the mashed bananas at the end of the other ingredients in the bowl. Okay, cool. We have the whisk pack and now we're going to whisk all those ingredients together before we add in the eggs and the vanilla. Mm-hmm. We're ready for 
and the eggs are the vanilla. <laughs> mix again. As soon as you got that all mixed together, <laughs> that looks like baby barf. Yum. Scrape the sides of the bowl and then add the mashed bananas. Scraping. God. We're really Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yikes. Put that in the sink. After you properly get all the bananas into the bowl, Mix, you mix all that together. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and grab our dry ingredients and we're gonna add it to the other way, I think. We're gonna add the wet ingredients into the bigger bowl to the dry ingredients because that's how you bake, right? Sure, so <laughs> you do it a little, like a little bit at a time though because you like don't wanna overwhelm the dry ingredients because I don't know. They're 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 a little shy. Smell it. <laughs> Good, right? Once you have finished whisking all your ingredients together, it should look something probably like this, but I have no idea. So probably. And now we're gonna scoop them into said cupcake tin muffin things that we put over there like half an hour ago. I got the spoon dirty already, but you should use a spoon or like if you have something better to use to scoop this into here, then use that. But I'm gonna use a small spoon. I don't know if I've ever had a baking thing go so well. I think a thing that you're supposed to do when you like put things in there is like shake them so that they're like kind of even, but like, or like do that. But um, this is bread, so I don't really know if you can do that very well. We're good. I think you put these in the oven for about an hour-ish, but since this is like smaller versions, we're gonna like check on it intermittently and then figure out the right time so that you do know for the next time. In the oven we go. Now we wait. Wow, these look pretty, these look pretty freaking fantastic if you ask me. And they look pretty golden brown and I think that they're done on the inside, but it's very hard to tell because they're like all golden-y. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? I think they're done. Are you sure? I have no idea. I believe that, I think we're going to go for a general consensus. This light is so harsh. Hello. Um, that, oh, we should turn that off. The total amount of baking time for doing this in like bread, muffin, tin, things would be a little bit under 30 minutes so i think they're done <laughs> we're gonna uh after they cool down uh we'll do a little taste test for you to see if they're good or not so bone apple teeth the moment of truth we're gonna see if these taste remotely good in any sort of possible way they seem done they look done right cheers Wow, that's okay. pretty good. Not bad. You look good. <laughs> Guys, Abby did something well. What? <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate your viewership. Let me know if you try this recipe out or if you don't. I don't know. Whatever. Happy quarantining. <laughs> you know what to do, YouTube world, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you in the in next, next one. one. Bye. Get tired with it!